Mother Nature was feeling anxious. She would often feel this way, for the day was fast approaching, that oh-so-dreaded day. You see, she loved each of her children as mothers tend to do, but as each year passed, their wants got larger and their consuming bellies grew. Every year in late November came a ritual she fought in vain. It took its toll on Mother Nature, and Black Friday was its name. For a day, things dropped in value, so the people thought they must descend in droves so dreadful that the shops were fit to bust. On the morning of, she woke up early and paced about her home, for such behavior wasn't healthy, but she couldn't fight this fight alone. She gathered her children all together, and before anyone could moan, she rallied up her righteous reasons and took up her toughest tone. She said, the bath is full of plastic, rubber ducks, bottles, toys. There's two TVs in every room and they're making too much noise. The garden seems somehow smaller. And once again, it must be said, instead of fixing things that are broken, they're all just piled into the shed. The fridge is close to busting and with so much bought in haste, it can never all be eaten. And so much goodness goes to waste. Every week brings a new gadget. I end up living in a haze. I gave you animals to look after, but I haven't seen the pets in days. There is a power in each individual to make a mindful choice. The places you do business aligns their agenda with your voice. I really love you all so dearly, and I hope you find a way. For a planet beyond next season, we can't live only day by day. I think our attitude needs adjusting. We're always pushing for the new. We need contentment in our hearts and minds, and maybe wardrobes too. Look, I know some of you are trying, but this tale is yours to weave. The world will remember you for your actions. It's time to wear them on your sleeve. Be the change you want to see in the world. Be brave, be wise, be bold, be true. And so I'm trusting you with tomorrow. And what will be, it's up to you.